And here we are today at Oriwa Primary School. Um, today is Wednesday the 29th of February. So we're starting to make some pretty good progress. Nice to get down the country and be in Oriwa. Who enjoyed um, the... What are all those movies called? That, that, what was that director? Peter Jackson? Mm -hmm. What movies did he... Was he involved Lord with? Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings? <laughs> the Hobbit. The Hobbit? The Lightning Thief? King Kong? Anyone heard of King Kong? Yeah. Anyone heard of Tintin? Yeah. Wow! Wow! Now, did, have you ever read anything about Peter Jackson? You ever read about his life story? Come up here. Come up here. What's your name? Say your name a bit louder. Taylor. Come up here, Taylor. So what did you what do you know about Peter Jackson? Three or four years ago, did you see that big fat book, Biography, yeah. Peter Jackson? Did Mum and Dad have it? No. You had it? No, it was just a picture on Wikipedia. Picture on Wikipedia. Well, if anyone's actually read a little bit about Peter Jackson, he was only your age when he started making movies. He was probably eight, nine years old. And he would have had a simple camera, a bit like my flip camera. And he just started, he just got going. And he got his friends to help him. And then his mum and dad helped him. And then throughout his early years, he was just making movies. So, you know, by the time he was 16, he was already making horror movies. And so it's interesting. What do you think Peter Jackson found? Find your place. Starts with talent. P. The P is right, but it's not place. Talent is right, but yeah. Peace. Peace. Now what? Give me another letter, and I'll see if I can fill it in. E. E. No. Yeah, that's the last letter. A. A's right. Yes, A is a good one. I definitely got an I. Find your passion. Find your passion. Absolutely. Congratulations. What's your name? Isabella. Isabella. That is fantastic. <laughs> Find your passion. It's not going to fit, of course, because I'm not doing it right. Let's have another go. Let's have another go. <laughs> Thank you. You can sit down. Appreciate that. <coughs> Find your passion. Now, doesn't most people talk about finding a job? But here it says, find your passion. What do you think Peter Jackson found? His passion. His passion. So, how's that worked out for him, making all those movies? Making Lord of the Rings, King Kong, The Hobbit, Tintin? It worked out really good. It worked out pretty good for him. Anyone have any idea? what he's worth. I was just reading a couple of days ago. Isn't that like five million or something? Try it. A little bit more than that. Five million is a good guess, but... Ten million? But more than ten. Twelve? Five hundred and eighty million dollars! Five hundred and eighty million! Now what do you think worked better? Finding a job or finding your passion? Finding your passion. passion. That sort of worked for him, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so that's the first rule, is to find your passion. Thank you for showing this that we will be able to achieve something in life, not just sitting around at home all the time. I appreciate that very much. And Taylor, what do you think are the wrong habits? What do you think the habits that are going to lead to failure? Because you just mentioned about sitting at home. Sitting at home and getting addicted to something that you shouldn't be addicted, like watching TV all the time. Watching TV all the time? Now, how many hours do you think a guy like Warren Buffett spends reading every day? How many hours? Um, six hours? 
Six hours, I'll go with that. Or it could be six or plus. What about Amber? Seven hours. Seven hours a day. So what do you think that, you know, we can get addicted to things like PlayStation so easily or just watching TV. So what do you think about the reading business, Amber? <laughs> um, well, that reading can actually show you that fantasy can sometimes just be imagined instead of be li being lived, and you can live that fantasy through the book, and you can learn facts sometimes. You can learn lots of stuff, can't you? Do you think that reading seven hours a day, what, what do you think helped attract all those billions to Warren Buffett? He reads a lot. His passion. His passion. He loves reading. His books. His books, yeah. So you think that you can find out really good things in books that will help you fulfill your passion? Does that sort of make sense? Yes. Who reads at home every night? Not me. Who reads for more than 15 minutes a night? <laughs> Who reads for 45 minutes a night? Who reads for an hour a night? Who reads for two hours every night? Who reads three hours a night? Okay, so it's those kind of habits. Reading, you see, how many people in the room? There's about three that still had their hands up. How many people in the room? 100 people? 100 children? 80? 50 odd. So three, so that's 6% is reading three hours a day. So can you sort of see that this, those 6% of people are going to be much more successful than the other 94%? It's reading is the central habit that will get you to be able to act in a really smart way to fulfill your passion and your dreams. Look, a year ago, do you think I knew how to edit video? The answer is no, I had no idea. So I had to change my habits to better share this with lots of people, this journey that I'm doing. Because editing video is kind of handy when you've got an hour of video every day. Because I only post, you know, about nine minutes a day on YouTube. So I've got to cut, most of it just ends up in the waste paper basket. In the, in the Hello, I'm Amber from Oreo Primary School. Today we had 13 habits come to our school. They taught us about our future and how passion's good. But we really need a corporate sponsor to help us pay for our books. Hi, I'm Taylor, and I go to Aurora Primary School, and we really love Lucas's books. And we really hope someone out there would be kind enough to pay for a book for every student at our school. And that would be so lovely, because everybody in our school deserves a book. Thank you. I enjoyed the most amazing afternoon at Oriwa Primary. It's still a hive of activity with all the children leaving, parents coming to pick the kids up. And it's been a really fantastic day, very enjoyable. Well, it's six o'clock, it's looking a bit dark because it's overcast, and I'm just leaving Okura River Road, heading down to my friend's house in South Auckland. He's just uh, up from Manukau, from the shopping centre. So, um, yeah. I thought I'd ride a few hours tonight, had a very successful day today. Wonderful bike path just here and on the left side we have the motorway, the oncoming traffic. 13habits.org So we have got safety equipment as it's getting a little... Uh, We're now onto Carrington Road, We've got a motorbike coming up beside us. And... Um, it's actually very nice. It's about nine o'clock at night and it's a lovely time to ride. Glorious view, Auckland by night, from Readout Road in Manukau. It's 10.05pm and very pleased to be getting close to my friend's house. <laughs>